One of the easiest ways to start a track or to create a great transition is to fade in all of your tracks. In this video, I wanna talk about applying a fade to Ableton Live, both in session view and arrangement view, as well as looking at how to do this on an individual track as well as your master track volume. So let's dive in and let's start over in session view. So I've got a song pulled up here. I wanna apply a fade to one of my drum tracks. So I'm gonna to go to this drum clip here. I'm gonna double click. Uh, I've already warped my clip so that it's uh, warping is enabled. And I want to go to my envelopes box here. Now, depending on what version of live you're using, whether it's 10, 11, 11.1, this interface will look a little different, but you want to go to your envelopes box. If for some reason you double clicked on your clip and you see maybe something like this or see your audio effects, then hit shift tab on your keyboard and that'll change detail view to show your clip view. So I'm over in my envelopes box and I have a couple different things I could automate to make this transition happen. I could automate my clip gain, I could automate my track volume. In this particular case, I wanna automate my track volume. So I'm gonna go to what's called my device chooser, which is my first of two boxes here, and I wanna choose mixer. This is the device I'm gonna automate my mixer. Secondly, I wanna to go to where it says track volume here, and this is the um, uh, control chooser. This is the control on this device that I wanna automate my track volume, which is the same thing as actually moving this fader. Uh, and as I move this fader, you can see this red line moving over here. So now I'm in my drum click, clip, I have this line here. Uh, there's a couple different ways to create automation. First, I could create a breakpoint. So I could click right here at the beginning of this section, click at the end of this section, and then drag my first breakpoint down to create a fade. You always want to pay attention, particularly with fade ends, um, that you're not fading beyond zero, right? So I want my level to stay at zero. Maybe I want it to go a little beyond zero if I wanted. Uh, but this one is uh, set to minus one dB, which is great. So that's where my fade is going. Uh, I could also, when I'm doing automation, if you're familiar with automation you could hit b on your keyboard or go up here to enable your draw mode and you could manually draw a fade in now it's probably not going to look great if you do something like that but that's possible if you wanted to draw your fade in um, another way though that's great that's available in live 11 is i could select this amount of space that i want for my fade i could right click and i could choose to insert a shape so let's insert this shape to get a nice smooth fade of my volume automation starting from zero and going here to negative one db now this is beyond the scope of this video but something i would encourage you to try because if i press play here let's solo this clip if i press play on this clip you see the actual track volume is moving i'm moving that volume up this is great until you need to adjust the the max value that it's going to or maybe later in the song you want to adjust the volume because it's automated it's not as simple as just grabbing that fader so something you should try i'm not going to show you in this video uh particularly in live 11 because this is uh surfaced and brought to the front and a little easier to see is try automating modulation as opposed to automation i won't talk about it in this video but here's what would happen if i went to uh, um, to modulate uh, or automate the modulation uh, then i could do the same thing i could select this amount of space here apply my fade let's try that again select the space and let's right click and let's do the same exact uh, kind of value that we had that's for my modulation there and what's great is let's look at our fader now you see this additional value here um, that is uh, moving my volume up it's modulating that track volume as opposed to actually moving my track volume so i can still make changes like this and this modulation i made is going to be applied within the space that's there i'm not going to go deep into that even though i just showed you how to do it um, but try that on your own it's a really great tip and trick when you're applying things like fades in Ableton Live. Okay, maybe I'll do a separate video on that. I think I should. So now let's uh, let's get rid of everything we did here. Um, so I'm gonna go here, select this and delete to delete that automation or in this case, the modulation. Let's go over to Arrange It View. So I automated in Session View. Let's go to Arrange It View here and let's automate our track volume in Arrange It View. Pretty similar process, but I'm gonna go up here to enable automation mode. So I'm gonna click this. I could also press A on my keyboard um, and I'm gonna go to my drums track here. Similar to what we saw in session view, we see our mixer and our control chooser, our device chooser rather, and then for our control chooser, we're gonna choose track volume. Now, let's go to the start. Uh, same thing we did in session view applies. I could create breakpoints, right? We could drag to create our fade there if we wanted. Um, let's zero that out to get back to it. We could apply our fade here if we wanted. Um, everything we did over in session view, we could do over here in a range of view as well too, which is great. So that's on an individual track. But what if you wanna fade all your tracks in? Every single uh, track that's in your song as opposed to an individual clip, individual track, how do we do that? Let's talk about automating our master 
fader. So let's keep automation mode going and enabled in a range of view. Again, we talked about these two boxes here, device chooser and control chooser. If we go down to our master track, you'll see our master track here. I could unfold this if this is what it looks like. I could click the unfold button. I want to go to the device chooser here and choose mixer. And I want to go to the control chooser and choose track volume. So I'm choosing my track volume for uh, my master track. So what's nice about this, let's say I wanted to just create a fade for my entire song as opposed to uh, just my drum track. The same things I did in session view, the same things I did to that clip and arrangement view, I could do here. So just really quickly, I could create a two measure fade in by selecting space, right clicking and inserting that shape. And now I have a two measure fade in. And again, uh, I could go in and tweak this. I could hold uh, all option to adjust the, the type of fade, the type of curve we had. Uh, we could do this. That's probably a little more appropriate for a fade. Uh, and I did that just by uh, highlighting this and holding all option on my keyboard. You'll see that little um, uh, kind of icon there apply and I can move and adjust that fade if I want to. So I could get really specific with this. Again, I could go and create breakpoints to automate this uh, even more if I wanted to. Uh, but that's a quick look at how to fade in audio. You could apply the same thing to fade out at the end. And because what we're doing is automation on uh, uh, an envelope and creating breakpoints, you could imagine doing the same thing with a, a delay with maybe a return volume. So you can apply these automations to your track and automations are just changes in a value over time to create some really interesting values in your song and some really interesting um, things dynamically happening in your song. So that's a look at how to apply a fade in Able to Live, both to clips and individual tracks, as well as our master volume. If you like this content, make sure to, to subscribe to this this channel hit the bell icon so you're notified when i uh, post a new piece of uh, content i post a new video every single day which i know is nuts it's crazy 10 a.m central every single day a new piece of content comes out so to see that make sure you subscribe and turn on uh, the notification icon thanks so much for watching this tutorial we'll see you on the next one have a great day take care everybody bye